Welcome back. We're tracking Hurricane Michael as it's nearing towards the Florida Panhandle this morning. Expected to make landfall sometime within the next few hours. And with this hurricane, it is a Category 4. And Florida and Alabama could actually see up to 12 inches of rain. Now taking a look at how this hurricane is moving and where it's going to next. As it downgrades to a Category 1 hurricane, it'll actually go back and impact those Carolinas. This is something that you can track on our KSBY weather app, which you can download in the uh, app store. And we'll continue to update you as this hurricane does approach the panhandle and does make landfall. Now switching gears and looking at our current conditions outside here on the central coast, low 50s in Solvang, upper 50s in San Luis Obispo, mid 50s this morning in Paso Robles, a little bit warmer than what it was yesterday. Now wind forecast shows that they'll be pretty mild today, ranging from about 10 to 20 miles per hour if those winds get pretty gusty, which could happen for San Luis Obispo and Paso Robles, even areas like Santa Maria too, getting closer to 15 miles per hour by this evening. So expect a little bit of a breeze throughout this afternoon and the evening hours. Microclimate model shows that fog and marine layer is very widespread this morning and could actually produce a little bit of rain. You can see for Solvang, Gaviota, even along the coastline there near Santa Barbara County South Coast, they could see measurable rainfall totals. Looking ahead to Thursday, we'll see similar conditions in the forecast. You can see a little bit of scattered showers there. But again, this is just really dense fog and rain layer that's creating that drizzle that will actually bring some rainfall total. So here's a look at your microclimate rain model showing that Goleta could actually see close to a tenth of an inch and Cambria really not far behind that either. Low pressure continuing to build, but we switch gears again on Friday. So today actually for the interior valleys, low 70s in the forecast, so pretty favorable there. But Friday, temperatures spike back up into the 80s, and you'll really notice it. it'll be about a 10 degree jump. Even for Pismo Beach today, struggling to get to those mid 60s, hanging around low 60s before 11 o'clock this morning. Daytime high there expected to be around 64 degrees. We still have the beach hazard statement in effect through Friday. We could see those tides get up to about six and a half feet through actually the late morning hours. Strong rip currents, local sets up to 10 feet, so a little bit dangerous out there through Friday. Daytime high is definitely cooler today, 72 degrees for Paso, upper 60s in San Luis Obispo, 70 in Santa Maria, 71 in Santa Barbara. Mid 70s continue there for solving, 70 degrees in Orchid, five cities area ranging from mid 60s just to the upper 60s. Mid 60s continue for Los Osos and the North Coast, slightly warming up for San Miguel to 71, 72 degrees there for Atascadero and 68 for Avila Beach. Back to you. Thanks, Brooke.